previously. Go on, Keeper of the Key, be brave now. She's always brave. I'll open my heart for you. Oh, she's crying red, red tears. Okay, let's go down to the heart. What could go wrong? Let's continue. The mad waiting room of death. But she's got some sassy ass hair, let me tell you. Okay, let's let's talk to this person that has wheels. Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. Fran, it's not polite to stare. They listen, they see, and they touch. Oh! Number seven! We got a ticket. Okay. Hopefully it's a good one. Number seven's a lucky number, I think. Do I know from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where's my knitting needle, ah? Did you stab all your little friends with it? That's such a weird thing to say. What, knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Holy crap. Oh. Do you remember that? I remember that now. <gasps> Take a number, would you? And wait for your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention, I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait, so I won't repeat myself. Oh dear. Ah, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours, maybe days? Ha! Been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone else been waiting? Ah, I've been waiting for like a month. I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks, totally hopeless. Um, excuse me everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself, that would be faster. And by doing that you could also help us all. It's very dramatic. Why won't you just become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. Excuses, excuses. I can't, my R eye is blinded. That's weird. I have this broken horn, you see, I can't be a doctor, I must be a patient. Neither can I, I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. <laughs> well, I'm not sick at all, please let me go before you, okay? I can't, I don't even know what illness I have, that's why I'm here. Okay. Hmm, but how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? Dr. Fran, in the house. That's a very hard question, make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. I cannot think of a single situation that would help. Ah, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. Hmm. You've only known us for a few minutes. There's very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. <laughs> Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? That's a good question. Well, it helps to, to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We respect the differences. Hmm, but who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Oh, that's very true. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go faster. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, thank you for nothing. <laughs> That's very sassy. Maybe we can just do what we did. No. We are going to be waiting forever. That music though. Ugh. Well they said go talk to someone who can see everything and who can see everything better than someone with a giant eye. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do, what can I do for you? Please sort out the patients. Can you tell me what the illness is of the creature who has ticket number two? He's in the waiting room. Waiting! <laughs> Let's see. Well, I see it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. Oh bless her. 
I thought everything was going better when Kitty and I got home. But now everything's so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs. I just want to find him so we can go back to a nurse there and be happy. Oh, he's like, come here, my pretty. Cry into this bottle. Lovely pain. So profound. Okay, so we have bottle full of tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Oh. Oh, everybody needs a good cry some days. Okay, let's use these tears on him and give him some agonies. Here, drink this, you'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me. Ha ha ha, how lovely, let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more, give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright, there you go. Thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Ugh. Yeah, you shuffle away. You rat bear. Ooh, number two. That's us. That's us. Shoo, it's not your turn yet. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You fib and never. Here, take my ticket. Hello, page number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. Sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. Like real life doctors then. <laughs> but I'm not sick. I lost my kitty. I just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky though. Many lose their mind instead. Ha! Lucky! How do I get an appointment then? Ah, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. Are you insane? Call us! Why must I call you? Why can't I just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Alright, I'll go make a call. <laughs> Luckily, I know where the telephone is. Yeah, I've written the number down, because I'm not going to remember it. Are you insane? Give us a call. Okay. Oh. Of course that would happen. Alright, zero, one, two, two, one, two, one, seven two, seven, six. Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. It's Frambo. Uh-huh. I'm available now. No, no. Uh, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Great, great. Thank you. Bye. Yes. Bye. Oh, she's so adult. That was such an everyday conversation. Yes, hello, nursey. Oh. We don't have our ticket anymore, so hopefully that's not a problem. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Frambo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. <laughs> yes, there you are. The doctor will see you. Just go through the door. Oh, it's scary. All right, thank you. Oh, gosh, I'm scared. Oh, it's going to be there. Oh, oh, oh. Go in. Go, Franny. Franny, you make me look like an idiot. Go in. <gasps> I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Whew, yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. 